we picked up the cross track that we purchased in uh, June. And okay. that's an early version of it where we've got the BF Goodrich KO2s and the Rika secret wheels on it, but nothing yeah. else done there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we had, uh, we were looking to have, we were looking to buy a vehicle that we could hop in and go anywhere at pretty much any time. We have uh, oh, family yeah. back in the Midwest and, uh, you know, they're not, they're not getting any younger. And, uh, we, as reliable there's a there's a modern yeah, photo that's so we've got the rally innovations light bar and the light, light force lights we've got the rika seeker wheels the bf goodrich cam twos uh, we that's how it should come from the factory primitive yeah skid, yeah primitive skid plates nameless stuff on it yeah, too exhaust and, and structural and yeah. so and heavy, us. Heavy <laughs> but yep. so we wanted a vehicle that we could drive at pretty much any time of the year back to the midwest if we needed to or wanted to um, because before we had that, we had three JDM 30-year-old 4x4s that are all diesels yeah, and a lowered Toyota. So vehicular lower Toyota. masochism. Yeah, that's... Yeah. 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 Toyota. That's with our my rally partner's uh, husband. Which we sold to them. My it was a great vehicle, husband. but it is not a great vehicle to go over the mountain passes in the snow we're in. So and, and, well, and our four-wheel drive JDM stuff is fantastic off road and it's plenty comfortable, but it's like 65, 70 miles an hour. And mm-hmm. I don't want to get a bit salty back in the Midwest. Like we drove to Wisconsin mm-hmm. for the holidays and I don't have a problem putting, bringing a brand new vehicle through the salt and stuff like that, wash it. But a, a, a 30 year old JDM Mitsubishi, I was just like, I don't want to get it dirty and salty and, and well, uh, rusty. And since then, we've Core 15. I don't know if you guys are familiar mm-hmm. with Core 15. Yep. So yep. we've inhibited all three of our vehicles. We've done that treatment. Um, Smart. Thank you, Mark, Hack- Mark, Mark Hatton from MPH uh, Specialties here in Portland. We paid him dearly to uh, treat all of our vehicles, and he's <laughs> lovingly call. done it and charged us more every single time we've bought <laughs> their vehicle. What a business model. Do it because he's learned how to now do it every time better. Um, mm. But we've done it since then because we don't want the, you know, all the, you know, rust to get in there. Yeah. So. But the, Wait. the fact that is exactly what we wanted, sands by the 100 horsepower, yeah. but uh, uh, it, it goes, it'll... Mission. It'll do 80, 85 uh, miles an hour in Idaho and Montana and stuff like that. It gets decent fuel economy. It's capable, uh, especially with the BF Goodrich tires on there. Uh, and, uh, you know, it does exactly what we wanted it to do. Now, if Subaru was to do a wilderness version of the cross track and keep the stick shift in it with more horsepower, Turbo? so have the Outback engine or turbo you know, more horsepower. So, I have at least 10. Oh yeah, I, I, I've been saying <laughs> since the Crosstrek came out. Because we wanted to roll our own gears. We wanted, when we mandated, because everything mm-hmm. we've ever owned has been a stick shift. Both wow. of us. That's a track everything. record. So, so we're yes. the only two. Um, Speaking so. of, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. No, I, I've been saying since the Crosstrek came out, if they built I mean, at the time, the joke was like a cross track WRX or STI, but mm-hmm. if they built one and it had Still. ground clearance and a turbo and a stick and like some kind of, you know, protective armor in any way, shape or form, I would buy one. I and so, buy so have about other, packet. yeah, literally dozens of us. <laughs> that was the thing with the sales number. Yeah, I mean, girls are right here on this right. podcast. Yes, it's like the, yeah, you guys have probably heard, oh, yeah. you guys have probably heard those those like the jo- the joke about like they should make the journalist special editions, right? It's the brown Volkswagen Jetta yeah. wagon, yeah, diesel with the six speed. You know, it's yeah. like yep. oh yeah, dozens of sales. So <laughs> yeah, okay, Would well. You- so- Go ahead, you can please. buy a brown BMW like that, I think. Well, you mm. used to be able to buy a brown Volkswagen Jetta wagon <laughs> diesel with the manual for like you know, two years or something like that. It was probably only sold to people who write about cars. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Or that stupid W8 all-wheel drive stick wagon they made for like, I don't know, a day? Yeah. I the, realized that it was... Hot, I think it was. It was a Passat wagon, yeah. 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 Oh man. Yeah, we're we're getting close to Derek Powell territory here with weird German wagons. 
I, I just saw that. <laughs> you literally just saw it in person, actually. Yeah, yeah. he drove through. <laughs> yeah. So, so the only way I see anybody is you have to be driving through the Midwest, and then you stop. I feed you, and we move on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll next time. Yeah. Johnson, you know that's where I'm from. Right, but I'm way south of Wisconsin. Yeah, very <laughs> south. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we're, lower, especially... we're like upper and lower. Yeah, upper, we, we've mid, gotten west. this before on the show where like people from Ohio are like, I'm mm. from the Midwest. And I was like, I don't think that's the Midwest. Like, I'm midway to the West. Like I saw, I saw something <laughs> like, on Reddit today and somebody said, why doesn't the Midwest just get absorbed into the Northeast? It was like, no. have that's... you ever looked at God, that? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Which, more than you uh, for than any of you. Yeah, no. Yes. Yeah. So. yeah. Not which good. it's been my favorite reels lately it's like the midwest version of pickleball and it, they have the wisconsin accents and they're drinking beer the whole time and they murder the athletic people who show up to play pickleball it's fantastic to me well yeah um, so, back to just two seconds so amy and i used to be part of a a, a bowling league when we both lived in wisconsin <laughs> and of course that's one of the things that you did you can't get a driver's license <laughs> without being on a bowling league. yeah <laughs> Monday night drunks, and it was actually on Wednesday just, nights. On Wednesday nights, though, but it was apparently a drinking league that liked to bowl. Yes, yes. Yes. So, yes. so, so that was their whole shtick. But you know, yeah, I've I've been a part of a, a rowing team in college that was a drinking team that also rowed. So Maybe yeah, with, <laughs> yep. the dude abides. Anyways. Uh, <laughs>